Oh, we're being recorded. What's up, everybody? This is the poker coaching study session. Today, we're going to be looking at the hand history. Let's pick up from where we left with this uh, hand history. So let's go. Ooh, fold. Fold. Who is the real JPB? This is uh, Joe. He was uh, really active in the beginning of the study group. We actually revealed a few of his runs. He's up this year around 80,000. Oh, um, shit. He, he, he plays really well. Um, That's a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. But what do you guys think about this show here? We, I think um, it's balls. You like it? Nope. Yes. Low Jack. I think it's a good way to finish off your tournament because that guy's a big stack, and I just think he'll that'd probably call too much. I just don't. I just don't think it's a that like is it a bluff? Is it value? I really don't know. Like it's in the middle, maybe. I don't know what that is, but maybe you're supposed to shove, but it just seems like a punt to me. Like you could just wait for a better spot. Yeah. What would what would you yeah. do with the, the, like the ace ten suited? It is a punt, eh? It, this nine, ace nine is, is a bun. Yeah, ace nine is blocking uh, the openings, uh, bottom of the reins, like jack nine, queen nine, king nine. Yeah, yeah, boxes folds and unboxes calls. No, I don't know. Yeah, ace yeah. nine at fifteen big blinds versus under the gun raise from the little jack. Is this ICM or without ICM? This is not ICM yet. Okay, then, uh, and I agree. I would fold. But if yeah, ICM, I mean, post if open you push wide. This, you... I yeah. mean, it, it seems stupid to me. I don't know. Like, it looks, on, it looks Josh, funky. You, you agree that without ICM, this is a fold? Yeah. Do you think it's not a fold with ICM? It depends you where you spend on ICM, fold. but he's opening wider if uh, he's a bully at least. I mean, Look at that four big by blind guy. Like he's not the biggest too. stack. Yeah. It is makes this no table? sense, Josh. makes no sense what you're saying. With ICM, you want to be tighter. You don't want to yeah. be a loser. Yeah, yeah why would we push tight. more? So, like, you have a wrong perception that people, just because they have, like, a big stack, that they're going to bully everybody. But look at the reality of it. This guy opens into two big blinds, 10 big yeah. blinds, 14 big look blinds. Look at all the squeeze stacks. He's probably setting everyone up. Uh, but the, uh, two bigger stacks. That's the, of two, uh, uh, also big stacks. That's the biggest problem. But there's four people ready to shove it in over two bigs right now, just waiting. Exactly. Yeah, two big blind shove. That's not, that's not bad. True, yeah, but, but I just think well, just the hand it. itself okay. doesn't want to shove over UTG so, open, it just seems too loose. Josh, your perception of ICM here might be might need some work. I'd like to just mention that once the 1.62 big blind stack folds, uh, the other shorter stacks aren't gonna regen too too much. No, 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 they're 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 waiting for him to die, man. Yeah, so, like he's really only got to worry about the other middling big stacks. <laughs> Yeah, there are two uh, big stacks uh, also on table. That's, yeah, that's so you're, I mean, he's going to probably play a decent range. What was the range we're supposed to shove over UTG? Probably ace-10. Ace-10 yeah, ace ten was uh, Kippy V, indeed. I wouldn't play ace-9 now. I'm just saying that, you know, that the, since the short stack is on that guy's immediate left, he's kind of got an advantage once he folds against but the imagine, other short stacks. Imagine being at a final table. Someone opens UTG. You got four guys to bust. You're about to make a ton of money. And you shove ace nine. You might as well just stop playing, man. <laughs> no, really. Final table, yes. Yes, you might as well quit because that's so punt, man. Yeah, it depends where you stand in the ICM uh, picture. Right? If it's a final table or not, I final time. It depends you well. don't like money if you ship all in. On the final it's, table, no. Yeah, Mr. On the final West table. Opens, and then Mr. Real GPB. This are says we can actually reach really if, uh, okay it is pretty up it is pretty uh positive too i don't know can we see the under the guns opening range hang on uh a great player once said that we want to always somewhat have 10 percent of aces to make a good play so here that would be 0.9 I really wish you'd upgrade. And uh, that's really funny because it gives us exactly, almost exactly our calling range at GPV, which is this here. So it's exactly this we have here. So it fits. Maybe a stand off. 
but it wasn't uh, that big an ice ice jam punt as you all imagined. <laughs> no, it is not. It is interesting. <laughs> well, he didn't run. He didn't run any decays or anything either. Like it might be different when you run it down. Okay, so what are we saying here? We're saying it's not that much of a punt now. It is a punt. No, I, I think it's uh, like we don't make 10% of aces here. It's profitable to shove, but it's really thin. We're at the bottom of our range. Um, yeah, I don't feel like thin. doing it. I don't want to do that. There's two people that can fuck up real bad here soon. Like one big blind, he's he's in the blinds next hand. Just yeah. just fold. Yeah, yeah but make money. just to give you an idea, my Ryan, we have 600 ends and this is n 180 oh okay so i'm i we're like early early okay so yeah okay might as well then if it's this early then fine right whatever ah uh, it's close it's close it's really close anyhow okay. this one is gonna be good for sure do we like to jam or do we like to call here uh yeah. I mean, I, I, don't think I'm call, I don't think I'm calling that early position. I just don't want like three or four cars behind me. I don't know if we can raise. Yeah, it's 17 yeah. lines. Why would you, you can raise? also raise? Indeed. Yeah, I mean, we might have a raising range. I'm just not really sure. It's kind of awkward at 18 bigs. I think it okay. looks better to all in. I think I'm huh. going to want to jam all in a lot of my, you know, a lot of other stuff. So the ace has probably got to protect that, I'm guessing. It's going to yeah, look like you don't have A's as much when you jam. So I think you, you, other people might get in with uh, weaker hands. But if you, like, min-raised it, it looks really strong. Yeah. So I'd rather, like, jam or call. Uh, I like jam, kind of. Okay. I, mean, I prefer jamming. I don't, I don't know if raising is a thing. I'd like to know if it is. I, I don't I like calling, though. Really. Yeah, but if you get, uh, give uh, HRC an option, then, uh, of course, it will also raise. Mm, yeah. I'll always hands that fall in that category. Oh, almost always. Same with GTO. Huh? Is this just a fall? Yeah. Small blind. Oh, no. Small blinds. How many, how many blinds? It's not. I would jam. Yeah, I think you can. It's below 25 blinds. Uh, this is an easy jam. Yeah. Yeah. 125 A6 office against. Uh, like you have way better hands in the button, block a bunch of calls. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're gonna rumble. You, you know. can even call with worse. Oh, 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 Joe. <laughs> I bet you sucked, man. It feels like a guy is ace king. Oh, oh no. Gosh. Fine. Oh, no. We're, That's good. We're not so far behind. 50 50 coin flipping, free flop. If you don't jam that, then they walk over you, huh? Yeah, you know, yeah. In the long run, at least. Mm. Especially that guy with uh, calling with five. Oh, no. yeah. Versus like, low jack. What are we supposed call. to do? This is a call or a rejam. Five was the call, I think. I think you have to call. I might. I think it might raise actually. It's mixing, so we might as well just fold it three flat. Are we small blind versus big blind? Yeah, might as well fold then. I I fucking don't see problem. How am I folding. looking at? It's low jack first, high jack, uh, but you are. Uh, I, I, I'm off. I gotta wake up. So whenever nice like the uh, head is mixing like this, I think it's better to fold because it's mixing because our opponent has enough bluffs and this how uh, is I probably is never bluffing as much as a, a solver. So yeah, I don't mind. Might be better than a move. You have to play in post. You got a lot of room. Yeah. Our position. Don't mind falling. I don't mind calling. I don't know. Doesn't play that well, like King Queen. <laughs> so probably he's probably too tight in that spot, though. Like people yeah. are. So people if I'm calling. Oh shit. Is he cold? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, he can't call. I think. What do you guys do here? Uh, I just call. I would fold. I'm well, always no just kidding. Here. We have to call. I think we have to call. Wait, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I think it's there's gonna, a lot in the blinds it, there to min open, man. It might, it might jam some a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like. I can a see a spooky weird PO jam, but I don't think it's like necessary. <clears throat> like, How, what's the effect of stack? Thirty big blinds. Button versus. I, 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 can't you just raise here? 
It's not a three bet, man. I, I no, believe you can. Yeah, sometimes. I don't think we, we call all queens, all kings. I think. Ah, uh, okay. We meet. We need. So you raise king very four often. Nine. We're gonna dig into king five, king six, king seven. But here it's more like king four and king three. But well, it's really close. So we can use some low blockers with like our our low king eyes to three bet. This one is good enough to call. Yeah. Yeah, for king. A king is good enough to call. I don't know why. Ace high. Eight, I don't know. I could see some of those other ones that raised and stuff. Who can you call here? I just. Uh, I think oh, we might need to be a raise. Here. You block ace king, and you have back a lot of back doors. Eight, eight, uh, five. Runner, yeah, runner. Low back doors and the spade tower, of course. I think uh, this is a raise candidate, but uh, good raise, maybe. It's not all the time. He, but... I, I think it's bad having two overs to the six, though. It's a little worse. And sure, I don't think we do it a ton, but I think it would pick it once in a blue. Like, uh, it just seems like flashy. It seems like something the solver would do. I think has good, like it has good here. runner runners. Like, uh, yeah, the problem only is that your low stretch is or lower stretch not always good, huh? Maybe not at this blind depth, though. Maybe this is a punt. I'd like to see a solve. It seems like the bottom of your range, right? So it acts as a good bluff raise and it has good back doors. Like it feels feels good, man. Like I think it's a raise. Mm, what do you mean, bottom of your range? It's like bottom of your yeah, calling range in the big, the big blind. Well, there's some worse hands, but it's pretty bottomy. Like you can see, you have king three, king two. I think but this one additionally has runner runners. It ha like the six is a nice card. Yeah, the six is a decent card, not that good. Huh? It's the bottom end of a straight. That's that's the. Problem. I'm not saying I'm super happy about it. Ah, king seven. Okay, it's a better one. Yeah, because then you have better runner runners. No, actually, the board is ace nine seven, but my board here is ace nine six. So here, king six is gonna play like king seven. No, not doesn't. necessarily. I think it 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 has to have the inside card. It's saying, and I, we have a outside card. You have a low card, huh? I think it's, it it's has, not, it has nothing to do with the seven. It's the king of hearts we're playing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah I think so too. Right? That's why the king is nice because you block, you, you got runner, runner, <laughs> strong flush, but you also block ace king. And king of hearts seems nice. And that's, that's one of the qualities I was thinking about. So raising here is approved. It's not bad to raise with the king of hearts here. So king is big and raise here. Sure. It's an idea. I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah, but uh, the kingship low cost didn't raise. Huh? Joe finds it. So it's uh, people. Will, people are going to see bet off their ass. There, he's going to see bet way too much. That's going to print. That's raised on the flop. Now we got a check. I think right. We got showdown actually. Yeah, definitely checking here. So we need to check. We're giving up. Yeah, well played. Limp, I like that. Check. We get nothing. We should probably check here. I don't mind betting. I think it's a nice hand because it's so Why short. do you not mind betting here, Joss? Uh, you get a lot of folds normally. That's, that's the only reason. I do it myself a lot. Uh, Joss, why is Jack 9Q rainbow a quote lot of You think he's got a lot of air in this? Yeah. You, you're, you don't have a good reason for that. Both ranges. I think it's better than a low flop. Yeah. Like the two middling cards are actually not bad. It's better than like a seven four deuce where he has like just like all seven four zero. Oh, well, all no, these no. extra he should, sevens. Actually, he, he should be raising those uh, to a lent. The low junkier stuff's actually good for us when we lent. No, we Is don't have those. Uh, I think that the. Uh, I, I think I th we pull from some of those low end ISOs, but it's not a big composition of the low end. I think he has more coverage in the very low since he just limped. The in position player, he, just, he didn't. I think, I think the board hits better. the range is yeah. Uh, in uh, yeah. I think we, trying to we understand have some those, elimination the distinction between play. this specific hand and other hands that make you want to think that he's just going to fall a lot. And especially if you think in reality, are people actually always isoing 10 2 and 7 4 like they're supposed to or whatever, or whatever those hands are, those bottom-hand ISO hands that are polarized. 
people don't hit it those really enough in practice, on. right? Yes. So then low boards are like even way better for them usually, I think. So the idea of betting just because your opponent is going to fall or has lots of fall is not good at all. Where did it come from? Oh, GTO, good. <laughs> It's just good. I like oh, a terrible exploit if you want to just throw one big line in and if they fold, great. If not, you're done with the hand. Yeah, it could, it yeah, could. it's not not so good because from the small blind, you mostly just want to play straight forward. Okay. Yeah, it's we used to do it a ton and it worked a ton, right? Before we started playing straight forward with the coaching sessions, like we honestly kind of like a lip bet. In, in my mind, it worked, but right now I'm playing the small blind differently and my numbers are really good. So yeah, it is good to be cautious forward. out of position. I think I think you have to kick it into two gears, man. That's like one of them is you're playing a shitty player who's passive, and you should uh, maybe the limp C bet will overperform because he still has a uh, you know uh, four two o six two o seven two o eight two o. He has maybe too many A X that just don't float or. He might not have this exact range, so the C-bet might overperform. But if you're playing like against a regular, uh, maybe you should be cautious more out of position. Like you should be playing pretty straightforward. If like I in cash, you're only C-betting like 30% globally across all textures. So like I'm assuming in tournaments, you're not really C-betting that much either in small blind uh, globally. That's right. So I think yeah. it depends. But not a big fan of this bet. You could check here. We don't have much equity. But you get away with it, so. Ah, do you guys open this one? Uh, Am I too I loose? Hey, F4. Need ice time, please. It probably mixes. It, it doesn't. It's a shit hand. Okay, yeah, it's very, very thin. That's an easy spot. What do you guys like to do here? Seen bet 100%. Is it really? Because he should be three betting, or he should be three betting a lot of ace x, right? He's jamming all ace almost. Or whatever, jamming, sorry. Yeah, Actually, jamming because they're stacked up. I'm checking the, without a diamond. This is the first rule here in this book. Uh, the <laughs> first thing we need to know is that if there's an ace on board, the button should range bet small with any two cards. Yeah, because they're supposed to jam all the ace x, right? Yeah, we have uh, more ace. Uh, but it's, it's two aces, more of a GTO thing. And, and more pairs also. Not only ace, we, we also have pairs. If you think about it, eight, two aces on the board, since he has not much aces and we're range rating, actually creates some removal to our ace X. Yep. So uh, I think it's even just a touch more passive, maybe. Maybe oh. you start to mix. Here's I'm my sorry. thing, too. Like, the, the big blind is supposed to mostly defend by check raising, and I don't want to see bet and get check raised by, what's the flop, like, six, seven suited here and have to fall to king high that's ahead. Look at this. Whenever the ace is paired, like we pure range bet. That's 40 pure big pure blind. Pure. We're 20 big blind effective. Oh, it's opposite, huh? Yeah, exactly. So we bet even more when there's an ace. Uh, yes. But he should jam even more ace X when he's 20, when we're 16 effective, though. He should jam like a lot of ace X, right? Way different chart. I think something's different. Yeah, I don't know, though. I'm not, you know, I'm not an expert, but something that was a 40 big blind chart. We're playing 20. Also, yeah, like, it's yeah, just there's a, so, such a world of difference, right? 20 yeah. big blind versus 40 big blind, right, I Ken? So. I think so. It'll be extremely different, so different that wow. we can even look at this difference. solution, right? I think there's a difference. Sure yeah. there is, but is it going to be a big enough difference for you to talk about it? I don't I know. Doubt it. I, I'm not even sure what to think anymore. I think range betting will overperform anyway, but at the same time, if you're against some fish, mixing is never a bad idea. A side boards, pure range bets. So make it simple, guys. Whenever your button versus big line, okay? And it's true across, look at this, across all stacked up under 100 big lines. 
So 20, 40, 60, 80, don't sure. worry about it. If there's an ace on board, your button versus big blind, you can see bet any two cards. But isn't there a difference because it's paired and the big blind defends mostly by check raising on a paired board and we don't want them, like, do we just want them to check raise uh, two low shooting cards here and make us have to fold a king? No. Can't check raise on that board with two aces, right? Guaranteed he has no tricks. He just he has no tricks. tricks. But that's not the, the issue. The issue is that uh, at 20 big blinds, he's going to reshove a lot of his aces. So we yeah, have but also uh, pairs. So he doesn't have pairs and he doesn't have an ace. He has absolutely nothing on this board. So we just range bet whenever there's an ace on board. You can simplify here, regardless right. of your I stack. could see it. I could see it. So Maybe one big blind bet, I'm not a very big fan of it, but uh, Joe said something about it. I'd like to hear what he thinks about it. I'm not a fan of it because I don't think people are going to respect it often enough. <clears throat> Joe, what do you think about that min bet? Yeah, uh, I don't, don't like it. Around that uh, does we, that th don't think about it. He bets, I fall. <laughs> It's even easier to uh, see bet if you uh, just choose one big blind. But... This is a call, man. Easy call. Yeah. Ooh, we dodged a big one here. Ooh, that was a sweat. Too many outs on the flop. Luckily, you blocked that. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's go. Where's the king? All right, so this is a tricky spot because whenever we play against early position, we want to fold a lot. <coughs> definitely overfold on these high boards. Is this a hand we want to call with? No, we, we don't have after back doors. Draw, so I would fold or a race. But I'm just folding. Just fold. Yeah, huh? I think it's a fold or a race too, but I do think uh, you're usually raising weaker backdoor flush is not uh, stronger. Could be, it could be wrong because the SPR actually. I'm thinking uh, maybe it is a raise, man, but I think it's either a raise or a fold, not a call. I, th I think it's a pure fold. It's too, what other uh, hands can we raise that are blocks? Uh, right. Block uh, Ace King. You got. Some back uh, doors. something like a diamond gotcha. six, like a seven, king seven, king eight. It has I just wouldn't be surprised, that's all. Like if I, it's a fold, it's a fold. I, I understand, but like I guess you when you raise versus on the gun, there's three rules. You need to have you like to have an overcard. Uh what is it? Um back door. Uh yeah, there's no implied there. Yeah, you want the That's overcard, thinking. backdoor, flush draw, backdoor, straight draw to continue generally versus under the yeah, gun. You want the combo backdoor and beat at least. All. You want it all. <laughs> at least. Is the we don't even have, a an, pair? We don't have an overcard to start with. Okay. So we should flop fold. We are... Just over folding against early position when there is a nice on the board. We have not enough six and ten, huh? so and some uh, good shots, not board, so can defend enough. <coughs> Was that a fall? No. Probably close. Jack three shoot it. Hmm. Hmm. Jack versus low Jack. Twenty big line. Are we supposed to shove this one? Uh, I think it's just a bit too high. I think sixes or something like that shove. <sighs> So yeah, it could be an all-in here, but calling is also fine. I prefer to jam. But nice little dodge. Yeah. Mm. 
This is just an all in. Yeah, I would assume so. Yep. Any RCDs? Not any, but uh, almost any. Almost any. <laughs> Call or? Yeah, I Jack yeah. versus Under the Gun with Tin Tan Suited. Okay. That's a call. That's a call. <laughs> I think we should just call her. We should don't you dare, her. don't you dare raise. Yeah, I don't think you have much a raise yeah, range of position on a flatting spot. Like I think there's no raises on this board. I believe we you have some raise, raises raise like our, our worst flush rows. And I think it will probably better the, the turn uh, anyway, Sean. The one that are really, really bad, I believe, would raise here. Yeah, I don't know if we have numbers on the two behind, but if they're pretty aggressive, I mean, is a flat going to be a problem? Pretty much slow play in position with the not, not at hand. Yeah, his bet yeah. size was 50% sure. bot, so just, just go. Yeah, it's so oh. easy to go all in on the turn. Oh, do they not have hands? Are they not in this? I think you should Chris, see a bit small always. Got Chris Mormon at the table. Yeah, it's a small C bet on a monotone ball normally. I don't think he does it very often out of position there with the calling range having so many suited hands. Um, and we, we're cutting hands, flush draws at that stack depth from AP. Like he, you know, he shouldn't have like six, five suited. I think uh, well, we also have some suited hands. I mean, it's not that bad. But no, we do. Yeah, we have lots. Real. No, the imposition player also. Seven five dues, Louis. It's a low flop, so all high cards are uh, still there. We don't have a raising range at all. They do a lot of slow playing in position with knotted hands, so you don't yeah. get to raise what, money. Does, does, what's this? Does he have a bet big range? On the flop, no. He's just betting small. He's just pure checking in reality. But instead, he goes for the small bet, and we never raise here. Not even yeah, with our bad flush draw. Never. We don't have any yeah. bad flush draw. Out of position, yeah, you check out of position. Also. So pure call here, and that the rest of the hand plays along. So we don't have a raising range in position. You guys were right. I thought we would raise like our bad flush rows, but nope. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So now we have a bit of an issue here because this is a pretty bad flop for us. Seven is the key card for the big blind. So whenever key card pairs like this, we are going to check 50% of the time and bet 50% of the time. I'm betting eight here, I think, though. I I think think check the only sizing we have here is bet small. So we should probably <laughs> either check or see bet small. I'm going to start checking Jack and uh -huh. start betting a bit more as I get closer down yeah. to the items, I think. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, too. But I still think eights... Because we're mixing so much, I still think eights are going to check quite a lot. Like, uh, we're only going to bet them, say, a third of the time or something. That's a guess. But. Um, I think the other way around. Get the, I th yeah, I think the other way around, too. Two thirds. I'm not sure, yeah. but I think eights are going to bet. And I think jacks are going to check more. That's all I think. Yeah. Well, he yeah, has to call under pairs. So maybe that reverse ladder is. Uh... Well, he's supposed to check raise a lot when we bet. I mean, they did most, they fold, they overfold a lot and they defend yeah, most of the Check raising, they check raise call roughly 50 50. But and we fought a lot, a lot of. Uh, <laughs> we fought a lot of equity here. Yeah. Right? yeah, eights also hold the relevant blocker here. Like he's he's going to raise like probably jack, ten, like 10 jack. <coughs> uh, Not uh, that important king, against the big blind to think the blocker effect of. Uh, jack, eights. maybe king. Somewhat important. Or maybe against the gun, it's important. Because he has yeah. an eight seven of a nine seven of and not the other ones. Yeah, like he he doesn't he's not the big blind here, right? This isn't blind defense. Is it? I think so. That's undergun versus big blind or not? Yeah, it's another gun versus big blind. 
Maybe so, eight should be back quite a bit. Seven is the closest one we have. It's good enough. Similar yeah, shit. Big blind doesn't defend. You can have a little less check raises there because he's only got one, possibly one over <laughs> instead of two. But we shouldn't we shouldn't be betting these pocket eights too much, and you shouldn't be betting easy. like. But Never I guess your motion you said was right. You bet a little bit more with eights than you bet with jacks, so that's a good guess. But overall, guess. Guess. Space, space guessing. I ain't guessing. I thought that's how I'd do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You nah, guys are not guessing. I was, there's a lot of I guessing, man. Guessing. Come on. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think the queen yeah. changes it though, because like you said, I, I just think the queen does change it. So, yeah, queen oh. makes it worse for us. Yeah, right. So we were gonna check even more. Wow. Well, so yeah, yeah betting think, here is uh, not optimal. If it's that much, I wouldn't. I wouldn't check there in game. No, I would probably need bet. Because... I think betting is actually better when they don't know that they don't check raise enough. I think it's okay. Yeah, the thing is, and betting is the preferred option. Probably, like you have so many combos of pairs. So in order to check a lot, you need to check a lot of pairs. Ken, he seems to think that uh, everybody knows that they should be mostly defending pair boards by raising, but that's not happening, right? People don't know that, right? Right. Right. So, like, so if I'm not going to get checked raises off, I don't mind betting a bit more. Yeah. You realize equity yeah. more. But if you just start spamming all your pairs uh, and you say, well, the only ones I'm going to check are jacks or whatever, if you bet eights and down, you're going to be C betting quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but if, well, the, if they don't check, general, general. Okay. That's, the, that's the thing is like, yeah, like you could bet to realize equity, but you, you might just. Uh, some people also play pair boards differently. Like some people spaz raises on them, some people don't. So, true, true. Yeah. That's also true. Like you could be setting yourself up to get fucked. Yep. Some people are like they level themselves. Like you don't have any of this. So I'm just gonna raise. Like, oh yeah, they raise every ace yeah. high and then blast, blast, and both guys are like, I have ace high, and you're like, Oh, I have ace high. It's basically war, man. Like they don't think you have shit, and you don't think they have shit, and you guys just keep fucking bombing each other. Uh, and sometimes that's how people play them. So. Well, I would just fall if I could. Then you don't want to be betting eights in that one, you know. Yeah, but I just uh, go out of uh, from the player pool unless I know more of the player. Yeah. Okay, so we can call profitably with the ace nine offer. So that's good. I thought it was a call. Mm -hmm. It's a that's call. Cool. Wow. Well, I would. Oh, I don't hate this. I hate this spot. Go all in. Mm. I don't mm. really like any option here. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> I think I like to go all in here. I think all oh. in might be the best. I, I... Yeah, Folding goal is, uh, set money. Uh, not that good. You're not getting good price. Eights might want to just rip. I don't know, man. I have no yeah, clue. That's the grossest man. spot I've ever seen. The other. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are, are blocking his bluffing rates, I think. Okay. No, it's just a call. Is it blocking his bluffing range? Like, was he raised jack eight? He's not there's calling yeah. a lot of suited hands. What off suit hands? Eight, that's he's he's I, don't, I don't find a single. I don't find a. I, like, he, let's see. Big line versus raise versus the button. I don't think there's any eights is what I'm trying to say. Me either, yeah. I don't think he raises eights as a bluff. An eight. Nine eight, eight seven. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, Not really. Nine, yeah. Nine, yeah. Eight. So, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine eight and eight seven. Yeah. Yeah, but still it's only a small portion huh, of the range. Well, also, you block two of them. Small portion. You block always something. What do you guys think here? Ah. Uh, I'm calling uh, off. I, I think why, 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 didn't, why didn't he bet the flop then, right? Yeah, 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 me too. I'm also calling. I think this is ace king or ace queen. I'm also calling, yeah. Or 10 9 off. Yeah, I would, I would call. Yeah. That's a Mark, very, very creative uh, three bet here. Yeah, but also bad play and uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah, right. creative tree bed and a creative line on the flop. Let's put it that way. You check the flop or not? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then uh, you're toast on the river on, on that jack. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Dude, the king is going to have good echo. Oh, it's all good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, then I don't like the open. I thought the open with king six suited was ballsy, but then with three shove stacks. What do you guys like here? Anybody calling or just. I'm. I'm Pure tree betting here. Maybe I'm wrong. Mixing, uh, I don't know what I do now. Yeah. I think some jacks, tens, and queens could get in there. But one under the gun versus button. 40 I bit. think that's okay. Depends yeah. on how much uh, I think they squeeze. <laughs> Normally I call. Yeah. I like to tree bet a lot here. It's half and half, yeah. Either way. Jacks calls more than tens. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's balance that it's pretty difficult to. Uh... Not many people have those strong hands in the flat range, so you don't have to really think they do very much. I think we need to check here. Yep. We need to call once or not. We could call once because if the river goes check, check, maybe we can win. Yeah. And maybe we can hit the 10. Good the 10 is not good for us, though. Then it does have to be good in it, but the queen is good always. So it's really, really close here. I'm not sure. I don't think we need to call. I think we could. Yeah, fold. That's not that small, yeah. so maybe you can fall. We have a lot of jacks in our range, a lot of kings, a lot of uh, aces. We have exactly like hands like king, king ten that have a better pair and the same redraw. So I think yeah, we have enough here. Better. Better. On the, on the flop. Uh, oh, we got 12% equity, 13, 14% equity. We need 25 You're implied odds. They're only on four of the yeah. outs. I don't know. It's pretty damn call. I don't mind either way. Pretty close. You can look it up under the gun versus button. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind either way. I think. It's weird. It checks. I think up. I think it leads towards fold though, right? Yeah, With well, three overs and you can have a king, eh? And king your ten might yeah, not sure. be good. Yeah. King queen or something like that. King ten. But also under pairs can better. Mm -hmm. Don't know. I wouldn't raise. <laughs> might need it to turn it into a bluff later. No, I don't know. Mm, hard, huh? I think I'm leaning fold, yeah. You didn't uh, bet on the on the flop, eh? So what are you representing? Yeah, yeah that's uh, like ace x suited, maybe. Oh, well, you could check pocket aces there. Maybe it's a uh, bet on the on the flop, even. Mm, I don't think. I get a gift I don't from the people check aces. <laughs> a little gifty gift. Merry Christmas, Joss. Thank you. <laughs> I'll send you a gift back in a minute. <laughs> Great. I hope you send me more gifts than what I actually send you. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we have, uh, what kind of board do we have? Ace, King, 10. Ace, King, Jack. Ace, King, Jack. Of course, there's none. Ace, King, Queen. There are flush draw. There's no flush draw. No. Ace King Queen without a flush draw. I'm gonna have to deal with it. <coughs> it's almost the same, right? So we face a bet, do we? We face a check. So one check. Do we ever bet with tens? Oh, that's impressive. Really? Should she bet 100%? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is under the gun versus big blind. Oh, that's different to me. Yeah. Ace, King, Jack. Um, uh, doesn't look like big blind. I, I think it's actually under the gun one, but... Oh. I think there's a guy missing, but it's fine. Versus button. How many flops do we have here? 500. Why do we not have high flops? Huh. 
Well, run it. You need it. Position and position. Ace. This can check rainbow. Oh, it is on. Okay. Build three. Oh, no. Many bed sizes. Uh oh. Was that a We're right in it? Let's try to close some stuff real quick. For a minute, I thought it was my memory. Three. Yeah, just needed to close <laughs> HRC. Let's run it. Is this a script to use for this spot, or is it all spots that script there? Uh, well, I took the under the gun versus button 40 big land scenario and I just changed the flop. Okay, okay, because so you probably I got already different have strategies. everything set ranges, bed sizes, everything. So I'm taking sure. an old sim and I'm just changing the board and rerunning it. Nice, I still need to get PO2, dude. Oh, set the part six and a half. Yeah. Uh, I use a DTO plus and I'm uh, still satisfied with it. I can't study in that GTO plus, man. Why not? <laughs> it's AIDS. Huh? It's AIDS. This program's just so much nicer GUI. Like, it looks nicer, too. Mm. All those what? fucked up colors in there. And, like, when you make a script, it's, like, all these fucking columns and things. Like, this is so much easier to set up a sim. Uh, and node locking is 10 times easier. PO2 destroys GTO plus in half. Um uh, no, maybe, but I don't uh, agree on uh, setting up a tree. I, uh, I don't have problems. Yeah, I like GTO Plus. Yeah. And even like the interface more than this. It's weird. I, I can't stand looking at it and seeing like three of the same color and it just looks. Yeah, I agree with that. You can it, change them, but, but it is a little annoying. You can change almost anything. So. Ooh, that seems. <clears throat> but do we have what was the pre-flop action here was this uh raising a call yeah single raise spot and now i guess we're taking the tricky line look at this you're raising a 10 value bet on the river with the plus blocker straight blocker yeah. spicy i like that i think it's I really like it. good actually but I don't think we pick a good opponent to do it on. I don't know who's this who's the Chris problem. Mormon is. That's Chris Mormon. But he must be balanced, Love right? He's good. He yeah. must have a strong strategy. He's very good. Yeah, we blocked the nuts, so. And we have no SDV. He just has too many ace king jack hands in the UTG range. I just don't see what we're yeah. I think man. it's a good bluff. And feels bad. We think it's big enough. Sure, it's big uh, enough yeah. to get the uh, uh, like ace three to fold, but I do think sixteen feels a little nicer. But twelve does the job. I mean, what you're gonna? He's block betting, so he's gonna have if he's balanced, he's gonna have some nutted hands, and he's gonna be block betting. Prop. I didn't see all the action, but I yeah, imagine yeah. Jacks. I imagine Jacks yeah, are gonna yeah. block bet some. I feel uh, like he's block betting a weak ace a lot, and will fold to a race. Maybe some kings. I don't know that he's folding. Uh, it's uh, it's hard to uh, fold out. I mean. So is this, is this a value raise or is this a, a, a bluff? This is a bluff. Bluff. It's bluff. It's bluff. Yeah, it's it's it turned it tens into a bluff. I don't <laughs> know that kings are going to fold here. Like I think jacks might start folding. I'm not sure he's going to fold. Okay. Also out. notice how uh, he bets nuts, small man. on the darn, but he bets the same size on the river. That's like really weird for me. Yeah, it is. Not uh, 20 gifts for you. Uh, yeah. This could be like saying I have King Queen when he checks the flop and goes block block against Jack X. This could I be mean, against case. population, I just feel like that's either super weak or they got the nuts and they just want to make sure they get paid. It's that, looked like milk. that looked like milk to me. But we blocked this, the nuts pretty good, so it feels like um, it's weak to me. You know what's weird when he checks the flop on that strong of a board and then goes milk, milk? I just think it's uh, we need to raise tens there. I think it's a good raise, indeed. It's one of the best blockers we have. Yeah, it probably does it. 
I'm not saying it, I don't know if it does it all the time. Maybe it, it, it does seem pretty nuts too with the backdoor flush blocker. I, I, I don't know, man. Because like he's, I mean, he's gonna like good players are gonna, I think, gonna be block betting jacks. Some there, right? Kings, some um, weak aces. Block, um, so you know, maybe maybe he would check ace ten of. Uh, yeah, but he should uh, range bet the the flop. That's the problem. Right. So if he doesn't range bet, you got to yeah, think what, what his strat. Is, what is his strat? So maybe it's just um, traps and air. That was their only 250 flops there when I had. Yeah, but also uh, yeah, that's a check. That's a high check flop, isn't it? Like weak bottom pair, second pair, maybe weak top pair, suited aces. Just check the flop. Mm. And then he goes for the block block, and then he ra- he folds to raise a ton, I think. Also, King X and the Jack X is going for the for the check lob, I think. Then really not sure here. I think it's a high frequency check. Yeah, you're out of position, so you check a lot from these. I always forget that. Uh... For us to get a 10 blocker in our calling range, we always have to have a pair with it, except for pocket 10. It's like a so when he when he's blocking twice, it opens up all those hands that would block for value, like King X, like uh, I don't know. Yeah, double blocks the nuts, pretty much have no showdown. Queen, Queen, Queen Jack. I, mean, I think Ace is probably when I go to showdown, so he's probably yeah. not block betting them, right? He'd rather just check bluff catch. Maybe Who's King's a block bet and Jack some. I don't mind it. Uh, I, let's see what uh, what's going on. Do we uh, wind up flatting <laughs> like pre-flop and then just calling off with our flush draws here? Like it's a pretty reasonable story that we got there. Yeah, sure. So I think this is going to be a fold from him. Like I think. It's going to work a lot. We represent uh, Queen 10 and uh, we represent Spades. Yeah, like I think you're going to see crying calls with sets and maybe with Ace King, but everything else right, you're probably going to get a fold from. I think. So, so he's he, going to call with he like King, if he has King 10, he's going to call if he has a King <clears> something <throat> with a spade or whatever that. Yeah, but he'd look at King 10. Huh? Yeah, I don't think he's going to call with a King here. Depends what his blockers are. Yeah, true. You can't call it. Oh, it never did much. If he has a spade. Sliver. Sliver. It's down of spades. Oh, that's a candidate. It makes <laughs> some sense to me. I think in reality, the, the, their range won't be as good on the river. It'll be a really good race. What is he bluffing then? People nothing. have actually asked Warbert about this on Twitter. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go look for it and see what they talk. I think they might have talked about this hand on Twitter actually. Let me go find it. What is she bluffing? King Queen is bluffing. Who's talking about what hand? I think Ken was saying he thought this specific hand was discussed on Twitter. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find it. By who? Chris and they, these two were, uh, he, ch- there was a hand they discussed on Twitter. I'm going to go try to find it. Oh. This might have been what it. Did, what, did, what did he wind up doing? Did he fold it? Yeah. Let's mm. see. We don't know yet. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I thought he had some nasty traps there, too. I thought he would check. Yeah, I mean, it's really. Flop. Some people would do that. Then. Yeah. Okay, so not know. really a raise, but you're not folding on the river very much either. So it's mixing tough spot. You get, are you guys checking aces there on that board? Sometimes you block a lot of the calling <laughs> range, man. You yeah, you block people it. real bad. Yeah, I, I, how did he play <laughs> that? He opened, he opened, we called, and then no, what did he do on the top? That fucks people up because no one expects it to. It works way better in reality. You yeah. check fucking top set to people and they just have all bluffs. They blast off, blast it your way into my top set. And yeah. uh, enjoy that. So, yeah. Good check back on the on the flop, though. It's a different head. Blast uh-huh. it off your way. Here you go. I don't know. It's kind of the river's kind of less interesting with the aces because he's going to call it those, right? Yeah, what do do this Kings is the not a big fan of this race on the river, honestly. Yeah. But uh, when we do it, uh, so we bet 30, we make it 4x. Like this one, we get him. Are you supposed to fold like top pairs sometimes? But 
I don't think people are going to fold ace queen or ace 10. Yeah, but that other hands do you have to fold? Uh, the low aces can call, or raise even. <laughs> oh, very dicey spot. Uh, not yeah. a big fan of the river spot. I liked it the first time I saw it, but it's not <clears throat> really approved. And what happened? Did he fold? No, he called with three aces. Ah. It looked like in the solver that that our that if we get that done to us, the when you with hands like ace ten, you don't call. You either fold or shove. Is that true? Is that what I saw? Yeah, that, that's what you said. But hands like what? That the the response on the on the river. Uh, this. How is so he we, supposed? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Look at look at look at his. Yeah, look at how he's playing ace-10. Ace-10, ten. Ace ten, ace-9. Oh, that's ace-10, so... Oh, it's ace-10 suited. That's what it is. Yeah, but... Oh, but look, uh, yeah. Default or a gem. How is the villain supposed to play trip uh, a set of aces in this spot? I'm curious how if he played it with those bet sizings, right? Like, check, he checked flop, right? Yeah, which is okay. Yeah, and then... Yeah. On a darn, he can do any options with his aces. Mostly he, bet small. He, he does. On the river, he should be sizing up. So he made a mistake on the river. Oh, oh that hand, yeah. So he played it fine down to the river where he needs to size up. But he actually induced Joe into betting. Um, is this a call? Uh Man, like I'm taking a flop. If I smash it, I'm gonna get it in. I don't think so. Correct. What about probably... twelve big blinds on the other hand? The other I mean, guy? It's, I'm a fish. I would fold then. The hand can flop pretty good though, so I probably just peel. We should fold here. Check in. Oh, wow. Yeah, you should. You should we have a big flag against the cutoff. Oh, he only has twelve blinds left. Yeah, and it's a very small three bet. Yeah, but he only has 12 behind, uh, so he, uh, yeah, I smashed the flapper fold. Yeah, but how, how many times it's do you smash. smash the flop? Now I fold. Now you have to call. I fold. No. This is a call. This is an easy call. He's always going to have an call over this, Then you should fold pre-flop. He's always going to have an over pair. Yeah, then you should fold pre-flop. You don't think he continues with hard crop? I mean, he's, he's got bluffs for sure, but like... Whatever, I only got a nine. Yeah, but you smashed the flop. I mean, yeah. I didn't smash it. I got second pair. Yeah, how many times do you think you smashed the flop with Jack? Not that often. All right, guys, we're going to take like a five minute break. How often can do you think you smashed the flop with Jack nine if you don't count the nine? 